and we will dismiss you by section at the end of the night here. We really appreciate your uh, cooperation with that. And if you have any trash, please throw that away as well. All right. We're going to pick them up. Cassell's going to bring them around. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Great flag. We're right side. It's not going to work. All right, let's try it again for the cell, 25 laps. Let's see if it looks good. I don't know. We're going green anyway, green flag, and we're racing. 25 laps here for the Loves Park Auto Bandits. All right, Braden. Wants redemption here as he was black flag last week. Let's see how Braden can do tonight. He's running second right now. It's Cassell leading, leading the group around. Braden in second. Pearson wants third away from Sadler. Those two are buddies kind of next to each other in the pit, so I don't think one of those guys is going to hit the other one. Jennings in fifth. Craig next and Cody Armando in seventh. All right, coming around here, it's Cassell. Braden on the inside of Cassell. They're coming into lap traffic. Mikey Mahurin on the hard inside there, just trying to get his points for the series. So the five breaks out with a 16-398. So the 5E will get the black flag. That sucks for the points leader. Now you're going to be the 28 of Garrett. Like I said, the 5E breaking out. You, you cannot go faster than a 16.400. That's it. You cannot go faster than that. So the race now. Braden and Cassell, those guys parked by each other in the pits too, actually. I asked one of them, who's going to win tonight? And both said, I'm going to win. So one of them wants it in victory. Let's we'll see what happens. All right. Cassell looking to the inside of Braden. Cassell also ran dirt, so he's, he's a part asphalt part driver in that 11 car. Cody Armado starting to look to the inside of the 261. Barrick Jennings. So it's Cassell right all over the back of Braden. Because sometimes what these drivers will do is try to driver out to act like they're going to drive fast and then slow down to try to get the other driver to break out. So far so good though. Sadler trying to hold off Jennings. Cody Armado right there as well. Now here comes Cassell to look to the inside of Braden again. That time Braden really slowed down that lap. That was kind of interesting. Like I said, I think the mind tricks are, are playing a role here. Braden wanting Gasell to break out. So, as they go around again. So Braden looked like he ran slow the last couple laps. Now he's speeding up a little. 
And now it's Cody Armado to challenge the outside, or the inside of Eric Jennings now. Cody Armado wants that fourth spot. Everybody else basically single file racing. Wild Gazelle, Gazelle gets right in the back of uh, Garrett Braden. Time is Garrett Braden kind of tried to slow down. Just watch the mind games commence between the 28 car and the 11 car. Otherwise, we're just kind of single file racing here. Randall Sadler starting to get caught up there to the two leaders now. You know, it's got to be hard to try to win one of these races. The clock. I couldn't do it. Sadler right there with Gazelle. Eighteen down, something to go for Speedway this time by for Garrett Braden. Five to go for Garrett Brayton. It's now or never for Mike Gasell. If he's gonna do something, he's gonna have to do something. Those two are right there with each other. Two to go for Garrett Braden. Who's it gonna be Rockford Speedway? Here comes Cody Armado now to get around Randall Sadler. Cody Armado now grabbing third place. White flag out. Cody Armado one second. Who's got Garrett Braden? Who's got Armado? Gazelle's right there. Oh no, Eric Jennings spins out. Here comes your winner, it's gonna be Garrett Braden. Followed by Cody Armado, Mike Gazelle. What a finish. All right, in redemption mode, I'm gonna say redemption because last Saturday he broke out and missed it. Sponsored by Neverlift Motorsports. This guy's gonna make me look like a little guy. He stands six foot seven, six feet seven inches tall. He's gonna stand next to me, I'm gonna look like a little guy. All right, Rock for Speedway, make some noise. Here he is, Garrett Braden. Wow, here, come on over here, come on over here. All right, I gotta, I gotta keep my distance from you. Like this, okay. All right, Garrett, I stand, you know, I look little next to you as I had fun talking about that. You, you're, you're, I, I say it's redemption tonight because you went ahead and you got black flagged last Saturday for breaking out 
and and I, I it just it, I, I really enjoyed watching you and Mike Cassell race because it was like I could see the mind games. You know, you'd you'd kind of have to let off. Tell everybody about what I mean. In addition to trying to beat everybody, to try to beat the clock, what's what's that like? Yeah, well, we run a 16-4 breakout, and you can't go faster than that, or you lose, which I did last weekend. So we're just trying to not go run a 16-4. So I think we're getting pretty good at it. This is feature number two for the year, if I remember right, right? Number three. Number three. That's right. Yeah, that's right. All right, Garrett, I know you got some people you want to thank. Go ahead and go ahead and have a, have at it. Oh, all well, my family and friends, every weekend they're there, and they, uh, they support the car, and I got a lot of fans in the stands that su support the car, too. So I appreciate all you guys, so thank you very much. Outstanding. Congratulations, Garrett Braden. One more time, Rockford Speedway. Make some noise. It's Garrett Braden.